Welcome to Vulture's Secret History of Television. Today's entry, Lesbian Kiss Episode, filed under irritating tropes. A Lesbian Kiss episode is an episode of a TV series in which a heterosexual female character kisses another woman, and that other woman is rarely, if ever, seen again. It's usually a dumb rating stunt. The first example of a Lesbian Kiss episode was a 1991 installment of L.A. Law, when lawyers CJ and Abby shared a smooch. A few episodes later, Abby was written off the show. <laughs> Picket Fences had a similar one-off kiss in 1993, as did Roseanne in 1994. <laughs> the phenomenon really blew up around the turn of the millennium, when there were lesbian kiss episodes on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Relativity, Party of Five, Friends, and not one but two episodes of Sex in the City. Every time, one of the characters would disappear from the show soon afterward. We're not even really lesbians. Progressive critics pointed out that lesbian kiss episodes were often a step backward for LGBTQ representation. Rather than dealing with sexual orientation, these episodes were about superficial sexual experimentation. As screenwriter Marty Noxon put it in a 2002 radio interview, you can show girls kissing once, but you can't show them kissing twice. Because the second time, it means they liked it. By 2005, when the OC and One Tree Hill had them, lesbian kiss episodes had become staples during sweeps periods. The trend has died down recently, perhaps because TV is generally getting better at representing gender and sexuality. Now, when female characters kiss, both of them tend to be recurring characters for whom sexuality is just one part of their identities. The so-called lesbian kiss episode is a strange time capsule of an era when being a homosexual character was a virtual kiss of death, but when sensationalized homosexual encounters were ratings gold. Yep. Definitely straight. Tune in next week for another entry in Vulture's Secret History of Television.